Hi, my name is Samir Desai, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to choose an indicator for a titration. Recall that a titration is a quantitative method used to determine the unknown concentration of an acid or a base through the slow addition of the known concentration. The known concentration, or the titrant, is added from a burette little by little to the unknown concentration, or the analyte. The titrant is added to the analyte until the reaction is complete. But how do we know when the reaction is complete? through the use of indicators. Indicators are typically weak acids or bases whose conjugate base or acid have different colors, so it's a substance whose solutions change color due to changes in pH. So when the number of equivalents of acid and added base or base and added acid are equal, then we say the acid and base have both been neutralized. And it is at this point that the indicator will change color, which allows us to identify the equivalence or the endpoint. So how do we go about choosing an indicator? First, estimate the pH at the equivalence point of the titration. Being familiar with titration curves is very helpful in determining the pH. For example, a strong acid, strong base titration would have an equivalence point at a pH of 7. But in a weak, strong titration, either a weak acid is titrated with a strong base, resulting in an equivalence point with a pH greater than 7, or a weak base is titrated with a strong acid, and the equivalence point will be a pH less than 7. After the pH is determined, simply choose an indicator that has a pKa or pKb equal to plus or minus 1 unit around that pH. Let's apply this information to test if you can choose which indicator would be the best in a titration. Here, we're told that formic acid, a weak acid, is titrated with sodium hydroxide, a strong base. Now, while we know that a weak acid strong base results in a pH greater than 7, we're actually given more specific information that the pH at the equivalence point is equal to 8.22. Therefore, we're looking for an indicator with a pKa within plus or minus 1 of 8.22. Which of the following fall in the range of 7.22 to 9.22? The best indicator will have a pKa near the equivalence pH. Since the pKa of thymol blue is within one unit of the pH at the equivalence point, it would be the best choice. So a very small quantity of the thymol blue would be added to the formic acid. In these weakly acidic conditions, the thymol blue is actually yellow. Little by little, we get a strong base, and when the color changes to blue due to the indicator, then we know we've reached the equivalence point. It's at this point that we'd look at the burette to see the volume of the known concentration we added to the unknown concentration, and use this information to calculate the concentration of the unknown solution. While titrations can seem overwhelming, make sure to review the videos containing concepts you're struggling with, and run through the related practice problems to solidify the concepts. You'll feel confident with this material in no time.